Hello everyone, hope all are doing safe and good. In this particular video, let's learn and get an idea about sample resume formats. So if you are able to see here, I have attached some resume format. So this is something not like the previous video where you have some old resume format. This has some new versions, which is some modern uh, techniques and the modern resume format. Let me give you a clear idea on how it works or what are the essential things which are updated here. So coming to the first resume format, it is 10 years experienced, uh, which is into banking domain, global banking. So the person name is included in the starting, starting of the attachment. Then the designation is included. Financial crime compliance, the department where the person is working. Location, where the person is currently located. Phone number and the person mail ID. In career summary or a prof profile summary, so here the person has added the a banking professional with overall 10 years of experience in KYC AML, CDD, which is due diligence, transaction monitoring, sanction screening, financial crime risk management with strong analytical and communication skills, looking for opportunities as a manager or a consultant role in banking and finance domain. The next comes is work experience column. So in work experience, the person is currently working in Standard Chartered Bank or SCB. So the designation is added below post that MMYY like till date he is working the roles and responsibilities are added post that he has worked before, uh, prior to standard chartered bank he has worked in city bank his designation is included and uh, initially he worked in JP Morgan and uh, that roles and responsibilities are also included with month and year format education is BBA in 2013 passed out from the Sheshadripuram first grade college Bangalore. Uh, let me read the skills here. So it mentioned like intermediate MS Excel, MS Office 365 suit, international trade finance, team management, swift payment, transaction screening and monitoring, oral and written communication skills. Let's have a look at one more resume format. So this is a different version. Okay, like let's see about this. So it's a new format. The person is uh, included his name in the center, mail ID in the left hand side and contact number in the right hand side. Career objective is added. And initially the person has added his education details and the year of pass out, which college is from and uh, professional achievements are made here. So uh, let me read it. Uh, so he has mentioned like worked collaboratively with team members to drive deals to successful funding and close. So this is a US mortgage uh, resume format and uh, he is currently in this resume. It's showing like he is currently part of Archwell company as a team lead from April 2022 to till date. Okay, so if you are able to see here, there are just lot of important keywords which is really needed in terms of like uh, updating your roles and responsibilities for example maintaining 100 percent compliance to security policies concentrate on team quality and strict on meeting sla hand over the team members for job training or uh, sorry on job training and started reviewing daily feedback and discussing the same in weekly basis for avoiding repeated feedbacks Additionally, created updated update tracker and clarification tracker for increase in team quality. So these are the things which are generally which a team leader handles or a trainer responsible for maintaining training matrix and daily activity tracker for team members, daily training plans, communication with clients through email, taking care of team attendance was a routine activity. And uh, prior to that, he have worked in sorry after uh, before archwell he has worked in wipro as a qa trainer into quality team so joined with wipro as a qa trainer and also setting up a new benchmark and client satisfaction from november 2019 backup trainer for underwriting team also worked as a quality analyst in the same team from november 2019 to february 2020 so certain things are very much helpful here. So if in case if you are from a US mortgage background and if you need the sample format, do let me know. And uh, he has also mentioned like uh, this 
certain information like daily production planning and managing day-to-day -day operations in terms of loan balancing, approved leaves and other operational activities. If you are handling a team marking attendance, so this resume format will really help with certain keywords and uh, TCS experience is included here. Whichever is the core words related to this mortgage origination, underwriting. So all these information are being added here and uh, Quattro Mortgage Solutions, he has worked there as well. And uh, in skills, let me read the skills to you. Uh, MS Word and Excel, experiment, experienced in clients, client software, underwriting guidelines, credit and income analysis, cash flow analysis, risk, risk assessment, loan to value ratios, debt to income ratios, conventional and government mortgage, which is FHA, confirming and non-confirming loans, capital analysis. And the date of birth is included here, language is known and the permanent address and he has added the willing to relocate because he is in in interior Tamil Nadu so he'll be looking either in Chennai or Bangalore so this is one particular resume format and uh, which is related to US mortgage let us go through one more resume format okay coming to the software testing resume format so if you are able to see here left hand side the person has added mail ID number location is linkedin profile link and uh, education details are added like be computer science from which college and uh, coming to the left hand side about me okay automation test specialist with one plus years of experience in ibm serving platinum clients like at t proficient in various testing skills like manual testing which includes regression sanity testing unit system testing looking for software testing or qa engineer roles in bangalore so my personal opinion here just wanted to tell never add the client name in the resume maybe in this resume it was by mistake the added by the concerned uh, candidate so never include it and uh, yeah don't put one plus years just put either it's a one year or two years experience and coming to the experience part he has mentioned like he's working till date in IBM as an associate system engineer uh, responsible for smoke testing, integration testing, functional regression testing and updating project pro process, project progress in Jira and Lean Kit. Skill set if you are able to see here in left hand side, it is clearly mentioned on what skills he has, manual testing, Scrum, SQL, Java, Selenium. He has also added the projects, what project he has performed. So this is one set of and I've seen some people whenever they have a resume, right? In case if uh, so here the person has added in this page like extra, he was unable to make it in one page. So but if you are able to make it in one page and if there is one page completely blank, so don't try to add that just make it as a one page resume. If you are unable to make and if it is a continuation, then it's no issues. Okay, and this is a testing format which will be helpful for BCA or be computer science background next coming to the o2c accounts resume format so here if you are able to see here here the person photo can be added it's that is a space which is kept here person name designation and senior practitioner into finance and administration seeking a challenging uh, sorry seeking a challenge career in the industry to utilize all my skills efforts to explore learn adapt myself to the latest demanding tech technologies realize the potential my potential and contribute to the development of an organization and myself with the best of my performance mail id is added in the left hand side location is added linkedin link is added in the right hand side and the person phone number work experience column is if you are able to see here the person is updated the work experience detail designation company name month and year format roles and responsibility are clear and crisp create purchase order to vendor invoice copy and providing payment status to the vendor to create sales order in order to generate a revenue to organization handling mailbox and assigning work to the team members collaborate with other department to ensure billing accuracy work on requests which are raised by clients and team so this resume in case if you are two to five or one to five years or one to six years experienced 
this resume format will suit if you are from a accounts background maybe be it a o2c or r2r or uh, p2p background okay so and uh, he, the person has priorly worked in infosys so those details are also added and education details are also added like mcom and bcom both so try to make sure you are even adding these details bcom details even in the linkedin education column don't uh, not only uh, mcom will help even bcom you have to compulsory add it in your education details in linkedin and coming to the skills part here microsoft word powerpoint excel computer network oracle r12 achievements are been added okay so i received r and r spot award for two times in excellent performance in productivity and quality by infosys awarded as star of the month by the team continuously receiving the positive feedback from the clients and leads in ibm language is known and interest are added coming to the next resume so this is one more format which is into kyc aml with 6 years experienced so here also uh, if you are able to see it's in a different format so initially the left hand side the person name is there mail id and number and uh, the person has added even the career profile summary in the top most part of the resume a competent professional with close to 6 years of experience in financial crime risk management well versed in aml kyc sanction screening okay and this designation is add uh, company name scb is there and uh, roles and responsibilities are added and prior to scb he has uh, the person has worked in wells fargo into financial crime specialist and uh, try to add even your month and year uh, sorry both for example here it is added like 2016 to 19 try to add even your month if space is there like jan 2016 to december 2019 something like that uh skills are added here like stakeholder management people management team work or you can even add team handling leadership skills mis reporting related to the excel works and uh, cash management excellent oral and written communication skills both mba and bcom details are added if you are able to see the person has added the education details as well let us come to the last resume so this is a business analyst resume format business analyst come global banking so here the person has added the career objective or if not like about me ba with 3 plus years of experience in banking and financial service with expertise in investment banking wealth management and retail banking looking for opportunities for business analyst roles in banking domain experience details are included and the person currently working in hsbc uh, i am not sure what is this edpi so in case if it is a client name or something like that try to avoid putting it work on ba on regu regulatory reporting projects in line with global regulations uh, so certain details are added with roles and responsibilities and left hand side if you are able to see projects are added regulatory reporting work on regulatory projects like mifd emir and uh, details of digital onboarding of hni clients are in added preventing income leakage details and uh, before this hsbc company he has uh, worked in hdfc bank so those details are also added if you are able to see here tools okay the person tools whatever the applications he has worked jira agile confluence excel sql sdlc so these are the things which has been added core skills if you are able to see here core skills business analyst uh data management and visualization stakeholder management agile scrum and waterfall methodologies soft skills management skills digital marketing negotiation critical thinking and the year of pass out is added and the college which university or something like that so these are the resume format i hope uh, this video helps you to get a clarity on how certain resumes which can be made it in a normal like normal version okay like something like where it will help you in terms of like building a, a unique resume format so if you are if you need this sample resume format because already i have a video or if not i have a mail which has some 15 resume formats which is little different so this resume format if anyone wants to do 
or if they're if you are able to do it by your own or with your friends help do let me know in uh, whatsapp or if not in linkedin chat i will try to share it to your mail id so that it will be easier for you to uh, make it in a better format so but make sure that certain details are added as much as possible based on the format i hope this uh, you like this video it uh, it will really help a lot of people whoever are experienced even a fresher resume can be made so currently i have not explained on any of the fresher resume format most of them are something into uh something into experienced format in uh, banking and uh, finance so other resume formats i've already explained so do in case if i come across i'll surely inform and uh, please do subscribe this channel it will really help uh, many other people to watch the video frequently or if not whenever i upload a new video and uh, share it to your friends colleagues or whoever is a final year student and pass it on to your college placement uh, people or principal so there are certain videos even prior to that i have even uploaded a video related to uh, top uh, mba colleges in bangalore so do watch that also so there are even many other videos which are uploaded in my channel so do check when when you subscribe you will be getting the other videos thank you everyone